Hey folks, you're back here with me with me, Solo Gamer, and we're gonna start fixing the play level seven Omega Protocol. Now, um, the scenario we're playing is mission one, and it's knock knock who's there. And it's basically the start mission where you kind of learn the rules and the commandos enter the prison. Now, uh, of course, you know I have Dodge, charge, cave in, hasten, frenzy, clone flankers, clone reinforcements, accelerator response, and surprise attack is my abilities. And it tells me to start the game with the uh, adrenaline tokens, uh, number of players times two. So I start the game with 10 adrenaline tokens. Now, in this game, the overseers go first, okay? So uh, we're going to decide how they do. So <laughs> the team leader is our guy here and he's going to decide who's going to go first and i want to try to see if i have anybody with a good kick card that would help me <laughs> open a door but since i don't what i'm going to do is he's going to say let's have the reconnaissance guy go first and then i'm shuffle the card so we're going to have one, and then it goes five, two, three, four. So our reconnaissance specialist is going to go first. And now uh, the reconnaissance specialist is this guy right here. And he starts, they start on this little thing right here, okay? So let's see what kind of stance he has. And let's hope it's a good stance. Okay, he has a reckless advanced stance. So he has speed of four. Defense range of three and uh, knife defense of four. As you perform an attack action, move one space, and his max adrenaline is five. Okay, so anytime you do an action, it's going to cost you adrenaline point. If you're going to move one space, it costs one adrenaline point. If you're going to open a door, it costs one adrenaline point. Uh, to attack, it costs two adrenaline points. And then you have other special abilities like here on here. Now, you see some of these don't cost any adrenaline points. They just automatically, like this knife work, the cost of your melee attack actions is one adrenaline instead of the normal two. And he has spotter, okay? And that costs him an adrenaline point to use. So, he can move up to four spaces, which is what we'll do. So we'll move him, he goes first, and he will spend some action points. And so let's see here, he spends one. Now, as you can see, each figure has a little arrow. You can't really see it that good on this one, but it has a little arrow, and that means that's what he's facing. Okay, so he move <clears throat> whichever way he's facing is where it's where he's gonna go, but you can always turn the hero and then it doesn't cost you any action points, okay? So we'll move him one, because he starts here, one, two, three. So we spent three adrenaline points for our reconnaissance specialist so far. So he has two adrenaline points he can do right now. And it's gonna cost an adrenaline point to open a door. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and open the door. And we're gonna open the door and see what's on the other side of it. So let's give him, that's four adrenaline points. And we open the door and it is unlocked. Remove this door from the game. Okay, so we've removed the door for the game, and we move him one more adrenaline point. That's his five adrenaline, and his turn is now done. Okay, it's not very hard, very easy, okay? So now we go to number two, who is our countermeasure specialist, and he has a stance card of cautious advance. Okay, so his speed right here is two, so, uh, you know, ugh, that's not the greatest, but okay. But he does have six adrenaline points. Now he has a uh, napalm grenade, steadfast, enhanced servos, and, and optical upgrades and stuff like that. Okay, so let's see here. He can move up to two spaces. All right. And let's see what he wants to do. Uh, let's see here. He is. Oops, I did not pick the. <laughs> Shit, sorry. This goes right here. I'm sorry. Right there. So let's get his figure. 
his figures just well it's, that's my only one little thing about this game is you can tell most of the figures but a few of them are a little hard to tell but I think this is him okay so we're gonna try to move him okay first thing though let's go back to our first turn <clears throat> he has a movement of four so it only cost him one adrenaline point to move four spaces so he moved four then he would have spent another adrenaline point to open the door i'm going to move him another four one two three four that's three adrenaline points i'm going to search we'll take that off and investigate and he gets a med pack okay so um move in one open door two move again three search four and now i can move him four more spaces anywhere i wanted to go and i'm probably going to just move him right here and then he's going to end his turn right there okay so now let's start with our second player he can move two spaces per adrenaline point and remember he has a max adrenaline of six right now so i will move him one two one two one two that's three one two that's four and that will probably be all the adrenaline I spend on him. And it's a good thing to where if you don't have to make extra moves, if you don't have to. Because see, at the end of all our hero's turn, all these adrenaline points, okay, that the heroes use are all going to go over here to the overseer and get put in his pool and so the more adrenaline points he has the more things he can do so you see that's what happens with the with the overseer okay and he has a minimum of 10 so let's say i know i put this little pool here but let's say he gets all this adrenaline over here okay and it comes over here and he has well, well well never mind we'll get to that when we get to it we'll just get to that when we get to it all right so number three is our big guy here he's the heavy support specialist and his stance is going to be cautious advance and he has a six adrenaline and he can do two spaces so we're going to do one two one two one two and we'll leave him here and he, he's going to cover that door right there so that was only three adrenaline that i spent for him <clears throat> number four is the rifleman and let's see what stance he gets <clears throat> he gets cautious advance as well six adrenaline all right so probably what i'm going to do for him is we're going to move him he moves two spaces i'll move him one two one two one two and i will turn him to cover that door then i will spend two more adrenaline to activate the sentry bot it's going to cost him two adrenaline to do so he can take the sentry bot and the sentry bot has no arrow it's basically facing everywhere and i can put it adjacent to him and it will be right there so that will be five adrenaline i spent on that guy and the sentry bot can guard and do all kinds of stuff it says during your turn the sentry drone can perform two of the following actions move attack or guard so it can move and attack but it can't move uh, but it can't do a guard as well but it can attack or guard or you know it can guard and move a guarding sentry drone can make one attack during an overseer phase when an enemy moves into its weapon range and line of sight okay so that's what we'll do so now we have our team leader it's his turn he has a cautious advance so we had a lot of people do a cautious advance so let's move him to one two one two all right another thing you want to notice is these red spaces right here these are like immovable objects stuff like that you can hide behind them to where you can't be seen in line of sight but you cannot shoot through them and you cannot move through them now he can move through his fellow players but he cannot move through enemy players and of course common sense would be well you know unless the guy in front of him is prone or something like that you can't shoot through your freaking uh fellow players so i'm just going to put him uh right here i'm going to move him right here and we're going to spend 
three adrenaline to do that. And so our heroes are nice and bunched up. And now it is the end of their turn. <clears throat> So now it is the overseer's turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all this adrenaline that came with our heroes and put it in a pile for the overseer. Okay. Now, I can take this adrenaline and spend it on anything I wanted to do. So if I wanted to do a surprise attack right now, I could pay my four adrenaline, put it in there, and do a surprise attack. Or clone flankers. Spawn up the two clones at a vent, spend four, and do that. But since I am playing my solo rules, I have to be able to do dodge first. And dodge is force a commando to reroll an attack. Well, we haven't done any of that yet. So I can't do anything else until I do dodge. So I can't spin any of my adrenaline right now. So what I do is he has a minimum pool of 10. So anything over 10 goes back into the bank. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He gets to keep the 10 for himself. And then the rest goes back in the bank. And that is basically that turn for the overseer. So now it's going to be our hero's turn. But now we're going to it's going we're going to move this. It's going to be round 2 now. Okay? And now <clears throat> we have our heroes. Well, everybody's done their top stance. I'll pause it for that. Okay, so we got everybody's got their next stance card face down, and the team leader says, "You know what? I want the reconnaissance specialist to go again." So he's going to go first. We shuffled our cards, and this time we randomly put them out again, and so that's the order we're going to go. So I have the reconnaissance specialist, and he has sneak. You have stealth. You can reroll one die for attacks against targets that do not have line of sight on you. Okay, and his max adrenaline is four. Okay, so what we want to do is, first thing we want to do is open this door. So he's going to spend one adrenaline to open that door. So let's open that door and see what happens, and it is short circuit. The commando who opens this door takes one wound. Well, that's terrible. So there's our little wound token right here. And I will put this little wound marker on our reconnaissance specialist. But now this room is open and we have a room deck. So <clears throat> what we do is we have to flip what cards are in here. Now, the objective for this game is, is we have to have two things. We have to find the office. And one of these room cards is an office card. And it's going to tell you which room is the office. We have to find the office. Okay. Uh, we're looking for basically like plans to the prison. And then once we find the office, we have to find the A-lift, which is the elevator, to get the hell out of this level. And uh, one of these room cards is the A-lift card. Now we can find them <clears throat> in any order. But we have to make sure we get the plans from the office first. And there's going to be some special things you have to do once you get to the office, which we'll go over. But I just want to let you know what the objective was. So we take the room cards, and we have the office. So we found the office. Okay, now you see it has this little square right here. All right, so we have this little office tile, and we put this right here. So there's the office right there. <clears throat> okay. And place the octa off in this room's objective zone. So we have that. And as you see, these little cards have these priority on them. And that tells you what order to do them. Now we also have a vent. Place a vent marker on any tile in this room. Do not place it on a wall or objective space. So we have a vent. <clears throat> and that will let certain clones come out of these vents to attack us. Okay. So we'll put the vent token here. And we can put it anywhere we want in there. Okay, then we have a vanguard. Spawn two warrior clones and one row clone in this room. Okay, so we get one row clone, and we can put them anywhere we want. And two warrior clones, which are these guys right here with the, with the blaster guns. In this room. Okay, so that's what's in that room. And that's done with that. Now, there are special rules for what happens when we find the office. It says... After the room containing the office objective is revealed, reduce the cost of all dashboard abilities that spawn clones by one to a minimum of one. Okay? So, we can now reduce the cost 
to spy clones. All right, so it is our turn. Now, I can't do dodge yet, so I'm I'm not going to. Uh, okay, so I can't do dodge at any time. So this is where I told you it kind of evens out. So it is still our reconnaissance guy's turn, because remember he only did one action to open the door, and he has a four adrenaline. <clears throat> now he did take a wound, but you know what? He's going to start shooting. He has a five range, and he's going to use his P100. That means he gets to roll one red, three black. But he may have a kit card. Uh, da -da -da -da. You and all commandos roll an additional red dot on range attacks against enemy within five spaces of you this round. Okay, and he has, you can re-roll one black dot. I can spend one adrenaline, which I will do, to use my spotter card. Okay. And I will attack, so that gives me two adrenaline. And so that is my four. So I will just, you know, do my spotter card like that. And I will get an additional red die. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. And I will attack him. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. So I roll these dice. This guy has a defense range of four. Okay? So if I get four splats or more, I wound... This, uh, this uh, well, I'm sorry, he has a defense range of three. I was looking at the wrong one. If I get three or more splats, he takes a wound, and he can only take one wound, and he is dead. So let's see what I get. So I definitely got all these splats. But as the overseer, I will spend my adrenaline, force a commando to re-roll attack. I will spend three adrenaline and make him re-roll. That's my dodge. Okay, he re-rolled. It was a lot worse, but it's still three, so this guy is dead. <clears throat> okay, and so that is his turn. So let's see who's number two. Uh, number two is going to be our rifleman. Okay. And he is... Let's see, he's here. Let's see what his stance is. Devil time. You can make one move this turn without increasing your adrenaline. Okay, so he can move up to four, so that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to move him one, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> that didn't cost any adrenaline because he has that free devil time thing. So he's going to spend two to attack that rogue clone. And he has the M18. But remember, we have that spotter thing, so we still get to roll extra dice. Okay, so that's good enough. So he killed that one. All right. So he will spend one adrenaline and move one, two, three, four. And I will have him spend his last adrenaline to move over here onto this office tile. Okay. Now, number three is our heavy support guy. Hustle. You can move through enemy figures. Hmm. So he will spend one adrenaline to move three. One, two, three. Then he will spend another adrenaline. One, two, three. So that's two adrenaline he spent. Okay. And now he will attack that little clone right there. And he's got a pretty good gun here. Uh, and he can do a combat knife. But we're going to do the... M62 bull. So he gets to roll three red dice. And he totally destroyed that clone. Okay. So that is two more adrenaline for him to attack. And we're going to end it there with that. And then we'll have the rest of our characters move next turn. But um, we'll come back and do that. So, solo gamer saying, see you then.